UltraCon. What's up, children with the corn? My name is Zachary and Folkman, and I am with a baby doll, Batgirl, Piccolo, Harley Quinn, Kirsten, Tommy, Jasmine, Deadpoolio, Stephanie Poole. Okay, we're not gonna ask. Kristoff. And what, what inspired you to make your cosplay? I'm sorry? What inspired you to make your cosplay? To make my cosplay, costume. Oh, oh, I am actually a uh, Palm Beach Mako cheerleader. Okay. So what do so, you do as that? We are um, the cheerleaders for the semi-pro league um, in West Palm for the Makos. And is there anything else about that thing that you want to advertise? Or am I just going to push you off the, this frame? No. Right now we're actually welcoming anyone that is 18 years out of school, or 18 years old, out of high school. Any females that are wanting to try out for the cheerleading team, we are meeting at Ultra um, at one to five, sorry, in West Palm and off Clemenus. And you can check out our official Facebook page, Palm Beach Mako Cheerleaders. I'll be right on the screen right now in the description. Check it out. <laughs> do it. I'm Thank serious. You. Go make up. No, seriously, do it. <laughs> do it. Look at her. She's hot. What inspired you to make your cosplay? I'm a huge fan of Sucker Punch, and I've been watching the movie about 20 times the past three weeks. And I just thought, you know, this is going to be really cool. I'm mean, going to go for my first convention. thought, I'm going to go with Baby Doll. It'll be fun. I am very much so in love with Batman, and I've played the entire Arkham Asylum series, and I love it. I just really like the character for Pokemon, because Pokemon's like my favorite series. So My mom, she was into Deadpool. And he's crazy, and uh, I mean, I'm a little bit crazy. This interview is officially over. Actually, I've been collecting comics since I was about seven or eight years old. I saw Adam West and Burt Ward on uh, TV as reruns, of course, and fell in love with it, and I've been a fan ever since. Well, I saw Frozen, and I really related to the character of Anna, so I decided that I really wanted to portray her. So you were like a dumb blonde, but with red hair? Well, that's a little insulting. She does save her sister. I mean, to be completely on, oh, whatever. She does, and I do love my sister. Now add a character once by you to become Elsa. Beg your pardon? Never mind. Kristoff, what inspired you to be Kristoff? Um, the fact that I could actually relate to him, the rugged hard worker, the no nonsense kind of guy, that's me 24-7. And I too am a bit of a fixer-upper. Honestly, the reason why, I, to, to go ahead into a brief history, basically the reason why I decided to do this character is because, like, I'm African-American. There's no question about that. But a lot of people are having this thing where color and everything like that, gender, it's all great and everything like that, but to get a perfect, that's my opinion, perfect cosplay usually has the gender or the color correct. Since I am African-American, a lot of the times I have a limited selection more so, so I decided to do colored characters. This is actually my first cosplay, and my partner, Connie, over there, she's kind of standing right over there, but she's the one who actually painted me. So this is not a suit, this is actual paint. It took about two hours of paint, and not only that, I have hair. So I have to get a way to wrap it up, so that's the reason why I chose Piccolo. What other cosplays are you currently working on and anything that you're going to be debuting soon? At the moment, because like this, this cosplay is my first, but a friend of mine, I built this thing twice. Because he did Gohan, but that was you know, a couple of months ago. But my next big project, I don't want to say it as a promise because it does seem a little daunting, but I think I got it down right. The next person I want to do is Perfect Cell. I have a couple of others lined up, Killer B from Naruto. I was also thinking about doing a Captain than Ginyu as well. These are a couple of things to look forward to as far as this goes. As far as this goes, this thing is like only about a couple of months old, so I'm gonna rock this as much as I can until it's over. Actually, Animate Con, I will be doing a Carnage suit. I'm paying someone professionally to do it. Eridon, Ampora, Homestuck, and a lot of the creepy pasta fandom. Maybe I may do a Zuko's daughter in Legend of Korra, but the character hasn't been shown yet, so I'm waiting till they actually show her. I'm thinking about doing quite a few anime ones. I was it's also like I want to do an entire soccer punch series and get all the costumes and do like one by one then maybe like a whole collage get some friends together but yeah I think it'll be really fun. I'm in the middle of actually working on Cassandra Cain's this one's a little bit uh, unorganized but I'm gonna work on the Cassandra Cain's Batgirl and I also like doing uh, X23. Right now um, I'm trying to work on a cheap pal for 
for a character from Korra, because I, I like Korra too, so. Right now, I'm working on Astrid Hofferson from How to Train Your Dragon 2. Rapunzel from Tangled, and Merida from Brave. For Mizukan, it's going to be a gender bender version of Violet Beauregard from the musical Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And for Chibi Pot, I'm going to be Seiya from Sailor Moon, Sailor Stars, and uh, Tenshi Masaki from the Tenshi Muyo series. Can I just have this? Come on. Come on, Elsa. Let's go. But... So I forgot my next question. Ow! You asked for it. I asked for it, okay. I always defend my sister and her fiance. Fine, you're not a dumb blonde, you're a great redhead. Thank you. Who's sometimes I dumb. I'm of Arendelle, and I do as such. So, uh, is there anything that you want to get done here at UltraCon? Any, anyone that you want to meet? Any pictures you want to take of a certain cosplayer? Anything? Not really. I'm just going to look around and see if there's anything that strikes my fancy. We're all just excited to be here. I too am excited. This is like a great follow-up from the um, SuperCon experience. So, I am too am really excited. It's really boring though, just having fun. I mean, you could do what she's doing and kill everyone. I mean, I like that. So anyway, <laughs> a little dark there. I'm kidding. Actually, yes, I'd like to meet people who cosplay people who are in my fandom since I come here a lot, actually, but I don't know that many people here. I'd also like to get a lot of comic books. No, mostly I'm just rooting on my friends because they're going to be entering in the competition and I hope they do well. So. Uh, take pictures with kids, family, stuff like that. Just hanging out with my friends, that's pretty much it. Not really, today I just came out to have fun. This is my probably fifth or sixth cosplay that I've gone to and I just came to have fun today with a group of my friends and I brought a bunch of kids for the first time. <laughs> Alright, cool. What? Photo bomb, huh? Okay, I see how it is. I see. <laughs> Have fun. I'm loving seeing all of the awesome costumes. Always having fun, nothing else. Meeting people. I got to meet you and your boring. awesome YouTube. Thing. I'm boring no, though. You're not. Yeah, Eric, yeah. no, not boring. Other than that, who doesn't like to have fun? Oh, well, maybe I should put you off the stage, right? Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Honestly, at UltraCon, and, and any con for that matter, um, I have a table in Artist Sally. The reason why I even decided to do cosplaying is because at first I started off as a cosplay editor. A lot of people that are on my page know that I do edits. I take pictures and then I edit the stuff. I edit their cosplays to make them look like they're in a more anime-esque type feel. My partner and I also do illustrations, drawings, and we're actually making our own series. But the first thing you need is a fan base. So we only started this simply to gather a fan base and say, hey, I'm here. And I have a lot of friends that are supporting me because I took their pictures and we're all just having fun all together. And at this con particularly, this is going to be the first time I'm entering him into a contest. So I'm not expecting to win, but I want to see what my first cosplay is going to do as far as the competition goes. To be completely honest, I think you have a good chance. Yeah! Uh, so anyway, what I do on YouTube is that I do sketch comedy, I do vlogs. What are you doing? You're like the second person to ruin my whole advertising thing. Jeez. I think she makes it better. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Anna. You're welcome. That's my sister. That's my sister. <laughs> So one last thing, what I do on YouTube is that I do sketch comedy, I do vlogs, just judge me, I do vlogs, and a whole bunch of other boring stuff. Uh, okay. Oh, jeez. Get out of my interview! What? I don't like you. Oh, I'm just minding my own business here. Oh. Pick your nose. Act casual. This interview just went way far down. Hey, so Can single? I just end this Got interview? Anyone? Single? Call me. Go away! So pretty much what I'm asking is, will you support everything that we do, whether it's bomb, uh, your house, which we might do. My house. <laughs> my house, oh my god, I, that's so sweet. Will you support everything that we do? Will you subscribe if you have a YouTube channel, if you have a Facebook page, like the Facebook page, just support Absolutely. whatever we do? Of course, why not? Absolutely. Of course. Definitely. Not surprising. Yes. Yeah, totally. All right, cool. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> she just she just goes along with the flow, I guess. Yes, definitely. And we'll definitely encourage all of our Makos fans to support your YouTube video, okay? Yeah. Uh, sure. Not too sure about that. Can we get more sure? I don't have a YouTube account, so... Well, yeah. make a YouTube account because it's kind of the law. 
and then subscribe. Okay. And then, yeah. If you didn't know, this is my clone. I'm already just subscribing as this video is being recorded, so it's already said and done. Now, one thing I just want to add. You gave me this card. Uh, what, what does it say? Session Visual Arts. All right, Session Visual Arts. Link in the description below. Check it out. And that is your what you were just talking about. Thing, yes. And this thing on the back, what is that? That's Neo Anime Girl. That's my partner. She's an anime artist and an illustrator as well. She's the one who painted me. After that will be in the description as well. Can you come over here? Just then <laughs> we know who the owner is of this. So you own Neo Anime Girl. Is that correct? <laughs> and you want everyone to check that out? <laughs> All right. So you go do that and I will leave you be. That's my time, children. I love you so much. And so I'm Zachary Folkman and I'm in your face. Ow! Ah, what you doing, man? Uh, cosplay montage. Really? That's, that's cool. HD and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I could do it better, though. But, just uh, look, look at the camera. Uh, I see the camera, but I got a non-HD whatever. But I still, I got the free death hugs. I've got other cosplay free cosplayers and stuff. Yeah. It's like the coolest thing ever. Whatever. You want to, you want to do this right now? Who's is better? Yeah. You'll probably win, yeah. but whatever. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do this, then.